Texas Senator Ted Cruz became the first major Republican candidate to declare himself officially in the 2016 presidential race. In announcing his presidential ambition, Cruz repeated a number of dubious claims we have heard before, and a few we haven't. Instead of a government that works to undermine our Second Amendment rights, that seeks to ban our ammunition, imagine a federal government that protects the right to keep and bear arms of all law-abiding Americans. Not exactly. The Obama administration sought to ban a certain type of armor-piercing bullet, not all types of ammunition. The proposal has since been postponed. Here is an accusation Cruz leveled at the Affordable Care Act. Five years ago today, the president signed Obamacare into law. Instead of the joblessness, instead of the millions forced into part-time work, instead of the millions who've lost their health insurance, lost their doctors, have faced skyrocketing health insurance premiums. In fact, about 10 million people on net gained insurance between September 2013 and December 2014, according to the Urban Institute. And Cruz's claim about millions forced into part-time work? There's no solid figure on how many may have had their hours cut to part-time, but one analysis of monthly labor surveys said the number was likely a few hundred thousand. Think just how different the world would be. Imagine instead of economic stagnation, booming economic growth. Far from being stagnant, the U.S. economy has chalked up five straight years of growth, gaining nearly 11.5 million jobs since early 2010. Instead of small businesses going out of business in record numbers, imagine small businesses growing and prospering. It's actually new business establishment openings that have recently posted the biggest gains on record. The number of business establishment debts is currently well below the record, which was set in late 2008. To see more, go to factcheck.org.